my thrifty loving friends. Gotcha. You thought I was going to say crafty. Today is the result of my thrift haul that I had. Uh, I got quite a few really cool things, so I wanted to show you. I wanted to butt in this video really quick and let you know that I've been under the weather and I apologize. I wanted to get this video out a long time ago, but it did not happen. I wanted to work on some more projects and even get the ones that I had started finished and it did not happen. I have been burning the candle at both ends and it finally caught up with me. So I did put them in here so that you can see and I'll just do another video on the projects that I do have done. So I just apologize for not having more of these projects done, but I hope you enjoy the thrift haul. So let's get to it. First thing is this really cool antiques and primitives. It's just a canvas, but I thought it was really pretty. I love the colors. Of course, it's the mustard and the black and the burgundy primitive colors for primitive decor all around. So I think there was no price on this. I want to say they said $4. So I think it was four for this canvas, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's very nice. And I think I will put it in my booth. I got this really cool bucket at Goodwill. This was $2 and it's a Halloween bucket, but I think I can decoupage over it, paint over it, stamp it, something and do something different with it. And this would be a really cool wooden bucket. So I used a little mushroom color over the top of the, the pumpkin Halloween decor. And I think I did two coats on that. And then I took this chicken wire stamp that I had added a little bit of black paint to it and I'm going to stamp the front of this with the chicken wire because I have a cool idea. So you're going to see a chicken mold later on in this thrift haul but I'm going to show you that I'm going to use it here for this box. So I'm going to use it as a mold but on the other side and just flatten out some air dry clay and then put it over the top of my chicken and there we've got a little indentation of a chicken that came out really good I love how that came out so I'm just taking a razor knife and going around it and just making making it kind of circular cutting off the parts of the clay that I don't need just kind of cleaning it up a little bit and then I'm gonna put it on the front of my box I think this is gonna be so cute I got this really cool galvanized tray. This must have been from Hobby Lobby, it looks like. It was $5.99 at Hobby Lobby, and I got it for $2 at Goodwill. Okay, this was this was a Goodwill. This was $2. Also, I can't remember what the color was, so I don't know if I got anything half off or not. Um, I just can't remember what it was. But anyway, I love the big fat frame on this. Uh, the print is really very pretty in the middle, but I think I can make it look more primitive, more my type of decor, and I think this is going to look really good when I get done with it. I got this wine box. It slides open, and on the inside was where they would put a bottle of wine. I really liked how they had this uh, divider in here with the hole in it, so I think this is what I'm thinking. I think what I'm going to do is cut this off and stand it up and maybe uh, put this in so far and cut it off so it blocks that bottom part. And then this part can have, I can fix it so we'll have a candle in it or a lantern or even just some flowers or greenery or something. And I think maybe I can do some kind of a decoupage or stamps uh, over the blank spots after I paint it, of course. Think clean thoughts. <laughs> this was Quill to Paper by Six Stress, Six Trees, something like that. Uh, $4 for this. Uh, this is, it looks like just a piece of molding. So what I'm going to do, I think, is sand this down a little bit. And probably I have some more paper from Tim Holtz that I got. Brand new paper, not the same as the bird, which actually the bird would be really pretty. But I think without even painting it, I'm just going to touch up the little ends where it's a little bit chipped, probably not that one, but this one's got a big chip out of it. I think if I just add a little bit of black on there, it'll be fine. 
but I'd like to take the Tim Holtz paper, the new paper that I got and put it around, put it here and just make a little nice shelf sitter. So I just took a little bit of black paint and put it on that edge just to cover it up and just make it blend in with the rest of the little sign. And then I went and got some sandpaper and sanded down as much as I could of the writing on the top. It actually sanded down quite well and I did that. And then I took some acrylic white folk art paint and I think it's Picket Fence maybe and did two coats over the top of that. Then added a little bit of Mod Podge on one end. Then I'm going to unroll this Tim Holtz paper. This is new paper that I just bought not too long ago. It's black and white and I thought it was really pretty and that it would look really nice on this on this uh, piece of molding here. So I just cut it down a little bit so that I could fit it on there and then sand off the edges and I add some more Mod Podge to get the rest of it to stay down and then I also distress it later on which I will show you in another video. We have the chicken rooster here and then this side has the white one. They're just different on both sides. Uh, this one is missing the little top pieces and this one only has one, but they're candles, unused. They have a little bit of a smell to them, but it's mostly waxy smell. But I thought these were really cool. So, and of course I like the chickens on them. So I figure I can get a couple more dollars out of them in my booth or maybe even online just to uh, rehome these to somebody else. I got this little bucket with the hanger. I think these are so cute and it, it's so many opportunities to redo. You can do a stamp, decoupage paper, whatever you want to design it, just paint it, stress it up, and then add some flowers, candles, whatever you want in here, greenery. I think this is going to look really pretty and I can't wait to get working on these box totes that I bought. Okay, I got these molds. These were, how much were these? $1.99 a piece. Pretty sure, yep, $1.99. So we got the chicken and we got the duck and I think these are just so cute. I'm gonna try to take some clay, put it over the top and see if I can make a little bit of a decoration with it and maybe stick it onto something. I don't know yet what it would be, but uh, I just, I didn't wanna leave one behind because I thought they went together really well. This great big rolling pin, I was just so surprised to find something so big. Somebody said it's probably industrial or for a larger baking company, which I can understand that. It's just definitely weapon grade, as Zeb from Jamie Ray Vintage would say, uh, or Jamie would say. Um, I really like this, this one, and I may keep this one and get rid of my old one that's just a small little one, or keep both of them, I don't know. But it does have this little like sticky stained spot here. So I may try and sand that down and take some of my hemp oil and oil it up. I was gonna do decoration with it, but I really don't wanna, I really don't wanna do anything with it. I may use it for baking. I think this was $2 and something, or no, this was $3.39 for this one. And there was a smaller regular sized one there that they wanted like $5 and something. And I was like, why so much for that one? I have a bunch of smaller, regular sized ones, so that's why I didn't pick up the one that was there. I have some, I actually have one coming up in a video that I'm gonna craft up. I have a lot of them, so I didn't pick that one up. I'll leave it for somebody else to do. I also got this one, $1.99 for this at Salvation Army, along with the big one. I love this. I'm gonna definitely decor this up and do something with it. I got this cute little primitive sign. This was $4 at Goodwill. It's got the great big hanger on it. It looks really good. It just has a few little spots I gotta nail in. The sta staples are coming out a little bit, but it's a very cute little uh, primitive sign. And I think somebody that likes sheep and primitive will really like this sign in their house. I just gotta clean it up and then I will price it to go in my booth. Okay, hopefully you guys can't hear it. Hubby's out there with the tractor just out, kind of outside the window, so hopefully it's not too bad. But I wanted to finish up. So I got this uh, really cool mug. It's got hummingbirds on it, flowers. It's a beautiful soft pink. I just love it. Here it goes by the window. <laughs> we got a storm here, so we're trying to clean up from it. 
So the other thing that we got was this really cool uh, piano paper. This is those old player pianos that they have. I got it, it's box, $2. Whoops, I'm showing you the wrong box. $2, this is the end of it. So the name of the song is Never On Sunday from 1960. It's a woman singing it. You should really check it out. It's a really cool song. But this is those, those uh, player pianos. See all the little dashes and dots in there. So you put this into the piano and it plays the song for you. And the song is called Never On Sunday. If I can think of it, I'll put it a link to the song down in the description. Unfortunately, I can't play it on here. But what I didn't realize, I love the color of the paper. It's a very yellow, old looking 1960 this is from is I didn't unravel it all the way, but you got all these words here on the side and it's the words to the song. So I was telling my husband, I said, look, I got this. So I started singing it and you start from the bottom and you sing all the way up and it's, oh, you can kiss me on Monday, Monday, Monday. Um, Monday is very, very good. Uh, you know, and it just goes on. It's a really cute little song and never on Sunday means never kiss her on Sunday. That's when she rests. Um, so it's super cute. I love it and uh, I'm hoping to do some projects with these and that would mean me cutting this uh, Either that or maybe I could just unroll it and use it as a scroll and Put something on there just so I don't cut it and ruin it because it's just so cool, but uh, I'm really looking forward to using it on using it on some projects. So I don't know <laughs> I don't know if it's going to get cut and printed on or stamped on or I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm pretty excited about it. So I scored on some material napkins mostly. This is a kitchen towel, farm to table, practically new, $2. I got this primitive looking, $2. This is a uh, napkin or I guess it's a dish towel because it's got the little hanger on the side, but it's got the black and tan. So these are great in my booth to put on top of things and then you, you know, on top of like a table or uh, my bookcase I have in there or something and then put your items on top of it. So I really like that. This one I really love. It's supposed to look like the tin punched um, metal. And so this was $2 as well. I like both sides actually. I think you could reverse it. I really don't think that there's anything wrong with this side. So I really like that. So I scored pretty good. This one's uh, a more of a lodgy, but it's got the burgundy and green and the, and the not mustardy, but taupe color, but it's got the bear on it. This was $2 as well. This was a, this is a um, dish towel as well, not a napkin. But some of those I think are napkins. Maybe they're all the shells. I don't know, but I really like them. So what else have I got? I got these birds. I had everything wrapped up in the uh, fabric. So I got these birds, $2 each. This one's really heavy, like a cast iron heavy. And this one is heavy, but not as. Um, they're got like this pink glittery goo stuff on them. So I'm gonna have to repaint, but that's okay. Or maybe I can just try and wash it off. I haven't tried to do anything with them. I actually just unwrapped them from where they were in when I brought them from the store. I really like this little bottle. I love the shape of it. They have a crackle finish on it and the salt box house. Very, very cute. So I thought with pit berries in there would be a really cute little decor. Two primitive plates. This one's got the salt box house. This one as well, this one has pumpkin, so it's a more fall look. So very cute on those, love those. And then I have the basket that everything came in. I had everything packed in here. It's a picnic basket with the, with the red inside. It's actually, um, the material is the plastic tablecloths that you would use. So somebody actually sewed that and put that in or something, but it's very nicely done. Nothing wrong with this basket, beautiful. I'm gonna put this in my booth just the way it is. If it doesn't sell, I'll probably, um, I'll probably bring it home and do something with it. But this was $6, 
The plates were $4 each. I got the Scentsy warmer for $4. Got the winter scene with the snowflakes on it. Thought that was really cute. And for $4, I think I can resell it for a little bit more where it's Scentsy. So I got to check for the bulb and make sure it works, but it's pretty cool. And then maybe last but not least, I have this really cool lamp that I got. You probably saw this in my thrift haul video. Um, <clears throat> my thrifting video, I should say. This was $4.38. And so what I want to do is either take the innards out and make this into a candle holder or cut it and make them into two candle holders. And I will get, you know, I'll be able to sell them separately or together for a little bit more. Just put a top on it for a candle. And I think... Um, that'll be really, really nice. So I think that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my thrift haul and watch for future videos where I am going to be making some of these up. I'm so excited. Can't wait. Gotta get started. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and have a great day.